Gemini is slowly becoming one of my favorite AI writing tools. And I say this because they've updated the models and introduced some really great models that allow you to write better content. So number one is the flash thinking, which allows you to have the AI to think before it gives you its output, which usually yields better results. But I really like deep research, which allows you to get deep research on in-depth topics. And then you can use that information to write you an article. So I'll show you my workflow of how I would integrate Gemini into my AI blog writing. So essentially, I want to compare some of the key data from last year compared to this year when it comes to Canada's mortgage data. So it's going to, as you can see here. So first, before it actually creates the um, research, it's going to give me sort of an outline which it's going to follow. So it's going to research websites. It's going to then analyze the results, create a report. It's going to be ready in a few minutes. So we can either edit the plan or if we're happy, we can go ahead and create the plan. And as you can see, once we do so, we get this canvas style um, mode on Gemini, which is new. And we can see that it's going to go ahead and do research. So it's focusing on inflation data. So it's starting my research by looking at the data for both 2024 and 2025. These are the websites in which it's going on to. Inflation trends identified, Bank of Canada's outlook, moving to interest rates. So it's really cool, right? It's like this developer that you have, or sorry, this researcher that you have on your hands that can go out and find this data, find these needle, needles in the haystack, or just gather information for you much, much quicker. I can see this being very, very useful for, you know, if you're a PhD student, if you're in secondary education, this is really, really good for niches that are more up to date, like mortgages or real estate, finance, things that are changing. You can create really in-depth reports that's going to be unique to your website. I'm using this tool that took a couple of minutes So keep in mind if you're researching a lot of content or in-depth data, it will take a little bit of time. So do set aside a couple of minutes, but here's the uh, information which we get back compare the Canadian mortgage market 2024 to 2025. We have an executive summary of macroeconomic environment, so on and so forth. Interest rates. We had some data, we have other economic indicators. Again, we got a lot of data here we get some tables. Um, so it's really good, right? It was able to give us that information and the actual data. And then we see the sources that were used in this report. So now there's a couple of cool things in which we can do with this actual article. We can export it to docs or we can generate an audio overview. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Now let's go ahead and generate an audio overview. This is a very, very cool feature that is native to Gemini and Google's AI that allows you to generate podcast style audio from your content, right? So once it's finished, we'll take a listen to it, but it's pretty cool. So once we click copy over to a Word doc, the information just automatically goes onto our Google doc. As you can see, the tables and everything looks good. So then we can take this information and work with it as we like. So two ways in which we can turn this into a blog post, we can simply tell Gemini to do it ourselves, or we could copy over the information and then use another tool that is better for writing, like let's say chat GPT, or we can use Claude. I've been really liking Claude. So we can use Claude. We can paste that information in and we can just simply prompt it using this information. I want you to turn it into a blog post, include list tables, charts, bolded words, aim for 3000 words, include a lot of data and information, write in whatever readability you like. I like to use grade eight, grade eight and write very in depth. I'm not really focused on SEO for an article like this, because this is more of a data rich article, right? This is like, if you're in an industry, you're creating this clickbait article that is going to have all this information that people will want to link back to. So we're not necessarily, um, creating this in a way that's, you know, going to be very, very SEO optimized. We want to overly optimize on page SEO. We just want to focus on the actual material in which we're writing on. So let's head back over to Gemini and our overview is completed. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this. Hey everyone. Welcome back to the deep dive. Yeah. We're all about getting you up to speed on well, complicated stuff. You know, the kind of things that make your head spin. Yeah. We like to take those complex topics and break them down, make them digestible. Exactly. And today's deep dive. Well, we're tackling the Canadian mortgage market. Okay. So that is a really good podcast. There's no other AI tool that does text to audio in a podcast style manner as good as Gemini. Like this is amazing. You can download this and put this onto your website and it just, again, increases the quality, increases the engagement, increases the overall just um, improvement of your 
blog post compared to your competitors. So we can download that and then we can simply upload that onto our, um, we can upload it onto Spotify, we can upload it onto a podcast hosted network, and then we can embed that onto our website. Okay, so Claude has completed writing the content. This is the written content that we get back, Canadian Mortgage Market 2024 versus 2025. And again, we get a lot of information here, charts. Um, and then we get also the sources at the end. It also went ahead and created a Canadian inflation rate chart from 2024 to 2025. This is really, really good. Something that you could definitely embed onto your uh, blog post. Then we have the Bank of Canada key rate in interest rate decision chart. So this tells you the BOC rate cuts and we see that it's on a downward um, trend. Home sales versus housing starts. This is another chart in which we get and average home prices by province, January, 2025. So again, really, really good data here. This is data rich stuff. This is when you put this all together onto an article or blog post, this is the type of content that people want to link to naturally. This is the type of content that will separate you from your competitors in your field. So if you are in any niche, which you can use data rich, research rich content, and this is a great, great, great uh, method or a flow in which you can use to create that content. To summarize, we used Gemini to do deep research on a topic. Then we took that information and we embedded it into Claude and we told it to use that information to turn it into a blog post and write a 3000 word article. It went ahead and wrote that article. And then what it did was it actually created custom HTML elements. We got a custom chart here. Then we got another custom chart. We got a graph chart here. And then we got another graph chart that's based on the information of that specific article, which improves the overall quality of the article. And then what we're able to do is we're able to generate a hey everyone. podcast style. And welcome back to the deep dive. Using Gemini on that specific information. So we were able to generate some audio, we're able to generate a blog post, and we were able to generate some custom HTML charts that we can embed into our blog posts. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.